Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is one of the most popular Indian dishes that is dal tadka. It's also one of my personal favorites. Before starting the recipe, please those who have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. In a pressure cooker, I am adding here half cup of tur dal and rinsing it a couple of times with water. Many of them use other lentils, but I am sticking on to only tur dal. Rinse it well and add around two and a half to three cups of water, approximately. Add around half teaspoon of turmeric powder, a little salt to taste, and half teaspoon of oil. All this helps in easy cooking of the tur dal. Pressure cook this for at least three to four whistles, or until your dal is nicely cooked. Now our dal has nicely cooked. Stir it well and keep it aside. Take a large pan and add around three to four teaspoons of ghee. You can even add butter instead of ghee. I'm adding here three to four teaspoons of ghee. Add around half teaspoon of hing and one tablespoon of jeera. Add few cut up curry leaves and give it a good stir. Adding ghee will give a nice aroma and taste to your dal tadka. I'm adding here one teaspoon of finely chopped garlic and one teaspoon of finely chopped ginger. Roast this well for. Few seconds. All the flavors are released to the oil. Saute well. And next, I'm adding here red chili, just for the flavor. We'll also be adding green chilies to spice it up. So add around one to two finely chopped green chilies. According to your spice level, you can increase or decrease the green chilies. Add one chopped onion and roast this well until all the onions are translucent. Keep roasting it. Do not burn it. Add a little salt so that the onions are nicely cooked. Now the onions have changed their color. After nicely roasting the onions, add one chopped tomato, medium sized tomato. Mix it well and you need to cook this until the tomatoes are nice and mushy. Add a pinch of turmeric powder. We've also added turmeric powder to the dal while pressure cooking it. So add a pinch of turmeric powder, that's enough. Mix it well and cover and cook for two to three minutes. Now the onions and tomatoes are nicely cooked. Give it a good mix and add the cooked Dal. The dal has perfectly cooked. Add it to the tempering and combine it well. You can adjust the consistency of the dal by adding a little more water. But this consistency is perfect, so I'm not adding any water. Add few freshly chopped coriander leaves. I'm not adding any jeera powder or coriander powder because. There's a lot of coriander leaves and jeera in the dal. So I'm keeping it simple and tasty too. Next I'm adding 1 teaspoon of kasuri methi. Crush this and add it to your dal. This will give a great taste your dal tadka. Do not skip adding kasuri methi. I just love its taste. Mix it well.
and cover and cook for 2 to 3 minutes. The dal has been boiling well now. Add few drops of lemon juice. This will give a great taste. I just love adding lemon juice to my dal. We've also added tomatoes, so only a few drops of lemon is enough. And our dal is ready. Transfer it to your serving bowl. Looks very perfect and absolutely delicious, isn't it? So let's prepare the tatka now. In a small pan, add 3 teaspoons of ghee. We're not adding any oil in this recipe. Add 1 teaspoon of jeera. Allow it to crackle up. Add a little red chilli powder. And few red chillies. And a little coriander leaves. And your tatka for dal tatka is ready. Mix it well. And pour it on your dal. The simple and authentic dal tadka recipe is ready. Serve hot with some rice or rotis and enjoy your meal. Do subscribe to my channel and I hope you all like this video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Do check out my other recipes. Until my next video, happy eating. Thank you. Bye-bye.